if the ruling is wrong, even the Supreme Court, when it passes judgment, the thing which uh, Chief Whip, Chief, the Chief Whip, your observation is noted. Sen uh, Senator Kau, go ahead and move your motion. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, SP and the, the point of order is order 54 and the responsibility of the chief whip. Is it 54 or the chief whip? Just as a way of, you know, advising the Senate on the way we do things. Mr. President, this is the Senate. This is the Senate. And we should not shy away from learning. Uh, uh, sorry, the clerk, can I have that uh, order 54? Hmm? Another dramatic session at the Senate today as the Chief Whip Ali Undume walked out of the Senate chambers in protest against the action of the President of the Senate. Senator Undume representing Bono South had raised a point of order on some fundamental errors uh, he said the Senate President made in presiding over the affairs of the Senate. The error referred to by Senator Undume was a motion moved by Senator Sumaila Kawu for a debate on the need to reopen the nigeria Nije border. Uh, that he didn't mention the title of his motion. But Senator Pabu interrupted him, uh, saying the matter already raised cannot be revisited, and then wrote the chief whip out of order. In an attempt to salvage the situation, senators hurriedly uh, went into a closed-door session. And this is coming after uh, a day after Senator representing Adama North, Laisha Abo, who was sacked by the Court of Appeal yesterday, uh, blamed his ordeal on the senator uh, the Senate President, Gautula Pabio. Actually, we would hunt by government because of my critical stand on national issues. That is the truth. It is obvious. I heard it from reliable source, which I don't hold the name now, that five senators will be removed from the Senate. Those who did not stand with my brother and my elder brother, my good colleague, distinguished Senate President Akwabio. Those who did not vote for him, five of us are going. I am number one. Ojuzo Kalu will go. They have, they have uh, penciled five of us and take it. They told me that I'm going, Ojuzo Kalu is going, and few others are going because we did not support the emergence of my brother and my colleague, Senator Akwabio, from uh, imagine the President of the Senate. You are a hero of democracy, Mr. President. And I want to tell you, Mr. President, that this is a democracy you fought for. If people will be haunted, five centers will be removed now because they did not support certain cabal. Mr. President, this is not a democracy that you wanted. Well, Senator Abu is now seeking the intervention of Mr. President to forestall, according to him, any further attack on democracy using different organs of government. But in a swift reaction, the Senate president says he has no hand in the sack of his former colleague, uh, dismissing his alleged involvement in the political travel of the Adama State Senator. According to his essay on media and publicity, Honorable Eseme Ayubo, he says the Court of Appeal across the country decides cases based on the provisions of the Electoral Act and evidence advanced by petitioners. The Senate president has no reason to witch hunt any of his colleagues, end of court. Uh, thanks for joining us on the program, everyone. We're keeping tabs on events and happenings in the polity. I am Nifemi Ogunto, and you're watching Beyond 100 Days. You can join the conversation right now on X, formerly Twitter. Remember to use the hashtag Beyond 100 Days and also tag Ativis News NG. Also coming up on the show this evening, the election season is back, uh, barely eight months after the keenly contested February presidential uh, poll. This time, 5.4 million Nigerians are expected to vote in the upcoming off-cycle elections in Bayelsa, Imo, and Kogi states. Our attention on the show today is also turned to Kogi state, 
as the Supreme Court is set to give its judgment on the APC Governor's Shield primary election. Senator Smart Adeyemi had filed a suit at the Federal High Court seeking to nullify the primary election of the All Progressives Congress, which produced Osmar Dodo as the party's flag bearer for the state's governorship election slated for 11th November. The case was dismissed by both the High Court and the Court of Appeal for lacking in merit, and that decision is now being challenged at the Apex Court. Senator Smart Adeyemi, three-time Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who represented Kogi West at the Red Chamber, joins me now live from Arabuja studio. Uh, thank you for joining us on the program uh, this evening. We'll talk more about Kogi politics shortly, uh, but let me get your thoughts first on the latest happenings in the 10th Senate. I'm sure that must have um, piqued some of your curiosity, uh, if I'm right. Uh, Senator Abu has called out the Senate president, distinguished, saying the judgment is a witch hunt for him, not supporting um, uh, Senator Gotulak Pabio. You're familiar with the terrain. You were with Senator Abu in the 9th Senate. What do you make of this latest claim? Well, usually we, once you're out of the chamber, you hardly want to get involved with uh, the internal politics and rank But well, let me just say this here, that um, I'm not in position to um, condemn anyone in the chamber now. It will be against the norms and, and the values that we place on ourselves in the National Assembly. But I must say, so let me just say that I do not see um, the possibility of the Senate president um, working against um, any senator for whatever position he or she decide to take on the floor of the Senate. Um, I think that uh, these are some of the teething problems uh, when you have um, a new assembly in place. You know, it, it takes time before um, you can get to understand each other and um, uh, you can have uh, uh, stability. Uh, but more importantly, too, these are some of the problems when you have um, a large army of uh, newcomers coming to the chamber. But for the Senate president, I do not think he's a man who we want to winch hunt anybody. Uh, I'm talking about His Excellency uh, Senator uh, Aquabio. I knew him more than a decade ago. I do not see him as somebody with that kind of uh, heart or spirit to winch hunt anybody. But again, like I said, uh, my brother, um, Abu, who have um, risen to, for what he has said, but um, I think you should just um, um, take the judgment of the court the way it is and um, not, to, not to rock the boat and uh, let, uh, us, let us have stability of, uh, of the Red Chamber. Um, I do not think the Senate President can go to that extent to which want people, uh, maybe colleagues of his, to be... Um, uh, uh, push out or, or <laughs> from this chamber through the through the court, and I do not want to believe that our legal system uh, is that corrupt to that level uh, uh. to uh, get somebody who has been elected um, uh, by his people to be so removed. But being that as it may, uh, I think it's a very serious allegation he has made, and I personally feel very disturbed. What I think more importantly is that the judiciary must uh, equally weigh this allegation uh, in view of certain uh, other issues. It may not have been uh, an issue that, um, that has to do with the Senate president. I mean, it may not have anything to do with the Senate president. I'm talking about the judgment against um, uh, Elisha, Senator Elisha Abu. It may not have had anything to do with the Senate president. But again, um, it's unfortunate that you cannot take this case uh, further uh, so so I, I would just I, I appeal to, to, to him that um, for the peace and stability of the system, he should just um, uh, uh, move out like I was forced out to from this, for the chamber. I was forced out because of my, my position on contemporary national issues. You know, so, so but I don't think my own case is similar with his own because I have nobody in the Senate to accuse or have pushed me out. So, so I would just tell the, my brother to... We just take it in, the, in, in, good, in, good, in good faith and, 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 uh, and believe in God that tomorrow is still there for him. He's still a young man, so he still have a long way to go. I agree with you, Senator Adiyemi, that he's made some really witty allegations here because it's suggesting that the Senate president had the capacity to manipulate the Court of Appeal, which you just got back from. So I, I, 
I know that it should also disturb you a lot <laughs> if there is possibility to decide, you know, what the judges um, say. But um, there's still so much talk about how the Senate president emerged in June amidst um, com conversations on whether or not um, there are plans to impeach him. Do you think your party has successfully moved on from that election in the Senate? Well, I, I think that the Senate is uh, gradually getting stabilized. But don't forget that um, in this dispensation, you, you had a situation where um, uh, quite a number of people were elected from different parties. It's not like the six, I was in the sixth, seventh, and the ninth Senate. Now, all these three times that I spent in the Senate, we had majority um, coming from the ruling party, so to speak. So, so with that, you can, um, we, we had um, a, a bit of stability, okay? So, so unlike what we have now, you have quite a number of people uh, elected uh, senators from different, different political parties. So, so for the first um, six months, there might be a problem of uh, getting to understand each other. So, so it's not, nothing to worry about, and I'm not in doubt that... Um, Senator Aguabio, his Excellency, the Senate President, is, is a man with a great wealth of experience. He should be able to stabilize this in the next few weeks. It's normal when you have new, new senators and when you have um, uh, a very hot uh, um, contest or process of electing the Senate President. You know, there could be, still be some people who may have uh, reservations, who may not still not be comfortable, but notwithstanding, um, with, with, as, as time goes on, they will get to understand each other and I'm sure they will get what happened uh, behind them and they will move forward. Yeah. I like your optimism and I'm hoping that it, uh, it actually um, mirrors what the reality is in the days to come. Let's talk about your constituency. We just have about 10 or 12 more minutes, so I want to ask you as many questions as possible, if you will. Um, your appeal at the Supreme Court is due for judgment in six days, I suppose. But your opponents are saying you seeking that fresh primaries be conducted is merely academic. The fact that the time within which such election could hold, as stipulated by the Electoral Act, had expired. You're not expecting the Apex Court to grant your prayers, are you? I, I think the problem um, of quite a number of people, uh, especially, especially those who are in politics, is that they do not care to read uh, issues, I mean, uh, uh, laws that are amended, you know. There's no law that is uh, stagnant. I was in the, um, I was a member of the Senate Committee on the review of the Constitution. And there's no provision that um, um, any political party could go to the contest without um, a candidate. We have expunged that clause. And that's what many people don't know. In the new Electoral Act, the, 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 the Electoral Act empowered the, the court to direct INEC to ask for political parties to substitute at any time that there is a problem or there was an, an invalid election, the, the new electoral act empowers the party to present another candidate. It is the old law people are talking about, and they make reference to what happened in Zamfara. Because of that, while we're in the Senate, we're sponsored that clause. So that clause is no longer existing. But like I do say that um, His Excellency Par Olusha um, Gombasson just said, when you don't want Nigeria to know something, put it in the book, because they're not going to read. So I see some people celebrating ignorance. The law, that, the law has been amended. In this Electoral Act, the court is empowered to allow a political party that had problems in the process of um, conducting the primary election to present another candidate through direct, indirect, or through consensus. If the time is not there, the party can come up with, a, with, with the last option, which is the consensus candidate. In essence, a political party could write INEC and involve, I mean, hold a stakeholder meeting and come to a conclusion that this candidate is good enough for us. So, so it is not a question of not having party because the ballot papers will not carry pictures of anybody. It's going to carry the name of the political parties. So, so the, it, is, it, is, it is an outdated law. And people are just speaking oh. out of ignorance. But the law has been amended, just, and I'm not ignorant of the law. Yes. For me to go to the Supreme Court, it means that the audacity of going to the Supreme Court is because I was a party to the drafting of this law. And, you know, I was a member but, of the committee. And you know I was very but, active in, my, in, in the Senate. So, so there's no law that is part of that. Widely, I was, I was it was also widely reported, my, my 
If you can hear me, that the Supreme Court on the 28th of September had advised your lawyer to withdraw this appeal. Uh, according to that report, uh, the Apex Court had stated that you'd failed to challenge the concurrent findings of both the Federal High Court and Court of Appeal that primary elections were held in Kogi State. Is that accurate? It's not true. In fact, the panel did say that they have not read our brief. They told us they have not read the, the, the brief. The, well, I mean, ask if your correspondent was there. They said they have not read our brief. Look, let me tell you, what, was, what, are, what are the issues? Number one was that this law says conduct primary election word by word. It was not word by word. And don't forget, there are established uh, uh, doctrine of law, what we call local classicals of law. That is, there are laws that have been established over the years, over the centuries. You cannot put something or nothing and it will stand. The result before the law sheet is just 11 words out of 239 words. So will you say that the result of the world is not important when you have the result just of just the local government areas? There are 21 local government areas reports, results, but the world, there was no world result. In essence, there was no election. You cannot put something or nothing and it will stand in law. You can't. In fact, a, a judge, a Supreme Court judge, one of our judgments said, she said that um, uh, 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 electoral process is like a pyramid and that it has a foundation. Once the foundation is, is lacking, then there was no, it's, it's not standing. So in essence, the Kogi election, the, the Kogi election, Senator Ademi is now coming up in less than a month, and there's usually a political arrangement to reconcile aggrieved parties after, you know, primaries of this sort. I'm wondering if anyone reached out to you, or you are the one not letting this go. Uh, uh, but um, I just want to bring to attention that some are saying it's a lonely journey here because a former commissioner for information, who is considered your ally, one Dr. Tomo Hikere, has now pledged to ensure the victory of the APC. Uh, standard bearer, who was even quoted to have said that he is going to work on bringing you back into the fold. Uh, would you say that you are alone on this road and that um, perhaps uh, quite a number of people wouldn't want you to do what you are doing as we speak? You see, what defines a true leader is for you to champion what many people see as impossible. And for you to confront what people think is insurmountable within the law. You see, when you are conversant with the law and you are not ignorant of the law, you are like a lion because you believe that this is what the law says. What the essence of the National Assembly is to make laws. The National Assembly is the symbol of democracy. If the law passed, the act passed by the two parliaments, will not be, 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 be honored, be respected. Then, what's the essence of National Assembly? I'm not an ignorant person of the law. We drafted the law. And I know what the law says, word by word, casting of vote. In their own submission, they said there was no casting of vote, that they, 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 they adopted option A4. In their own submission, they said they, did, they, did, they, they didn't do word by word. They said they did local government by local government. You can't change the law. I was in my, my, my ward waiting for... See, all those guys who you see talking, they have to do that because they need them to please the master. You have not seen me condemning the APC as a party. That's my party. We built APC together, but perhaps more than those errand boys, those uh, happy slaves that you see. I am not leaving the APC, but I'm going to fight for my rights. I'm going to fight for the right of my people because my people are not slaves. Do you know why I bought Kogi State? For 32 years, Kogi West have not produced a governor. We are not a conquered people. We are not slaves. We are highly educated people. And I'm I proud of my past. I'm proud of my tribe. So nobody can make me or make my people a second class. If I've been elected three times as a senator, eh, I have a responsibility to defend the, the, the interests of my people. I was the DG campaign of Yaya Doza Abilo for a second term. If I yes. was not good enough with, so this, with the governor appointment, his DG campaign that made it to win the second term, when the, th the, the third senatorial district voted Emma's for PDP, it is Kogi West and Kogi Central that voted for Yaya, Yaya Doza Bello to emerge as, his, as a second term. So talking I'm about Yaya again, Bello, not, let me just button for not, a minute. Talking about, talking about Yaya Bello, because there's one thing the law says, there's also the other thing they said you said. And I'm glad you're here to clarify that. There's an old video of you passionately expressing your honor, Lord, loyalty to Yaya Bello. And you, you mentioned about the succession that 
whenever he's ready to pick a successor, whoever the person is, even if he's your worst political enemy, that you're going to support him. Has that changed now? Let me say, let, let me say this. The, 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 the video was edited. I said so, but did you listen to the conclusion? I said, within the law, I said, anything, anybody is supporting, it must be within the law. And not at the expense of those who have elected me. Not at the expense of my own, my own people, my own people of Kogi West. Okay? A leader will not compromise the, the future of his people. I'm not going to do that. If I love you, if I'm supporting you, it's because you were doing the right thing at that moment, at that period. If you deviate to the detriment of my people, and you expect me to keep quiet, no, it's not going to work out. My loyalty to the party, to Yaya Dozabilu, it still stands as I speak to you. Have I criticized government? Have I exposed any wrongdoing of that government? You okay, I've not done that. You don't have a journalist. I've not said anything bad about the government. I'm talking about the process, which is faulty. There was no valid election. For anybody to be elected as a flag bearer, you must pass through a valid election. Can you justify 11 words results before the judges, before the juries? So 200 and 228 words had no results. 228 words had no results. And you expect us to keep quiet? Look, I came to the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court is not just a court of law, but a court of justice, fairness, equity, and of superior reasoning. Supreme Court, when they make pronouncement, it becomes a case law. If the Supreme Court should rule against me on this matter, it means they have said that 11 words is good enough to declare somebody a winner. God forbid, because to, it will go against allow, established doctrine of law of fairness. We're going to allow yes. the Apex Court to determine what it wishes on this matter because we are not judges in this case, right? But if I can, you know, ask you one more question before we move on, is that um, if you don't get it, who do you think is qualified to succeed Governor Yahya Bello as Governor of Kogi State? You know, before I answer your question, you, you said something, now let me answer you. You see, in law, there are what they call Nemo Judes in Koskosa. That is, you can't be a judge over your case. That is me why I'm in Supreme Court. I came here because I'm a writer and I wanted to explain to you why I went. The audacity of going to the Supreme Court is because the audacity of knowledge of the law. I'm not a law, I'm not a law judge, but I was a lawmaker and I know the spirit and content of what we wrote. Okay, so I'm not a judge. But having said that, I told you that the Supreme Court, when they pass judgment, it becomes a law. It becomes a precedent, you know, it becomes a case law for other courts to follow. If other courts should goof, Supreme Court must not goof, God forbid. I will say that to your question as to who among them is good enough. When we get to the bridge, we think of the engineering work of how to cross it. And I'm guessing the bridge, or you know, you'll get to the end of the bridge after, after the Supreme Court proclamation. We have just one more minute. I'd like to get your opinion on how well you think your party's um, president, I mean, your party's candidate in the presidential election, who is now Mr. President, is ferried, uh, particularly with um, his um, policies, uh, far beyond 100 days of his inauguration. Um, I think we, we must commend the courage of President Bola Amesh Tinubu to, in his effort to reform uh, the economy, to reform the, um, the, the socioeconomic activities of our nation. Having said it, let me say that this is a government that inherited uh, a lot of uh, misplaced priorities and some extent some inexplicable mismanagement of public funds. Um, I pity the president because he's carrying a burden that um, perhaps he never even thought about. You know, a lot of um, things were not done properly and uh, you can see a lot of revelation. Uh, so. So for a man to still have the courage and is pushing ahead, the last trip the president made was highly commendable, attracting foreign invest, investment to Nigeria. I've never had in the last 10 years, if any president was able to attract at a single trip about 14, 15 billion dollars investment. So I think the, 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 the country is on the right track on that uh, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Uh, like I said, these are, he, he personified those who struggle for the improvement of democracy. And is determined to effect a change. He came to make a name by making Nigeria great again. And I'm not in doubt. Yes, he clearly appreciated the fact that Nigerians are passing through pains. All of us are passing through it. But the fact remains: he's visionary. He knows what he wants. He you knows what is good for the country, and he's pursuing them. If you have oh. a, a very sick patient, 
you will not look at his face at time to give him the proper appropriate injection, or else he will still die. So what the man is trying to do is to rep reposition Nigeria economically, socially, and to make sure that Nigeria economy bounces back again. And that's our time, is, Senator uh, Adeyemi. Um, I, 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 I am so, I'm so impressed, um, you know, by the fact that um, you still speak as passionately as you do on the floor of the Senate. And I'm looking forward to having um, this conversation with you. Perhaps you will join us subsequently to also review other matters of national importance. But we have to go now. Three-time Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who represented Kogi West at the Red Chamber, Senator Smart Adeyemi. Thank you so much for talking to us on the program this evening. So much. Thank That's you for your time. Today, we're back, on, uh, we're back tomorrow with another exciting one at 6 p.m. Uh, but you can watch it again at midnight and at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I'm Nifemi Oguntoye. See you again at the top of the hour.